Hey guys, it's Slink here, and um, I just recently learned about quintuplet swing, uh, and then I started thinking about swing in general for drums, and you know, having a different groove and stuff like that, um, but I want to try and explain to you what quintuplet swing is, because I think it's really interesting. Um, so right now we're in 110, and let's just, as an example, I'll show you... Um, some drums with no swing whatsoever, just so we have like a reference point here. All right, pretty boring stuff. Um, how how do we add swing to this in in MIDI? Um, we've got these lines, these grid lines, and you know, do I just pull some of these notes over? Like, how do we mathematically figure this out to give it like a natural swing, especially at one ten? Um, you know, if you're writing a funky track. The drums have got to have some swing. It's got to be funky, right? So, <laughs> one way to do it is just flip over to the triplet grid and just move every second and fourth hat over so that it lands on the third triplet line. And you'll notice that the first hat spans the space of two triplets and the second hat spans the space of one triplet. So, it's a two to one ratio. So, if we duplicate this over and then match up this kick that's kind of already just begging to be swung there then you have like this triplet swing and most people know about this and I feel like it's too swung for the 110 BPM but if you put it up to 130 and you get that cool like garage sound Craig David <laughs> um, <clears throat> but for 110 I think it's a bit too much swing so I got reading about some different kinds of swing and how it's calculated and found out about quintuplet swing. So what that means is it's it's a three to two ratio. So if we take five hats and squish that into the space of what would normally have four hats, um, then you've got um, well then you've got five in the space of four. So if I just add another one here, so we've got a handle to pull this back. Now you can see I've got five hats in the space of where you'd normally have four or six. Um, and let me just put a, some kick snare in here. And so the way this works, it's the three to two ratio. So the first hat is going to span the space of three quintuplets. And the second is going to span the space of two. So this is what we end up with. So that, that would be an 8th note swing, but if you want a 16th note swing, you can do exactly the same thing, except um, push it back, instead of to the quarter note, you can push it back to the 8th note, and then do the same idea, you know, 3 to 2 ratio. <clears throat> and once I did this, I was very surprised because that sounds very much like um, this groove template that I made a long time ago and have pretty much written every song um, in the last couple of years using this and when I compared the two grooves I was surprised to learn that my my groove is very close to a quintuplet groove um, you know if you look at the triplet grid both of these notes are just a bit before the triplet but still after the, um, the normal 16th. So really interesting. And there's a lot you can do with this quintuplet swing. Uh, for example, if I um, take, here, yeah, let's just remake this and we'll bring this back. If I just mute um, this one, this one, and this one, and and then we had like some shaker here, but let's switch this over to the, to here. <clears throat> Check this out. Yeah, it sounds a bit better at a slower tempo. I like that. Feels like the beat's always speeding up kind of groove. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can also do something crazy where... So see this one, how it's kind of a bit earlier than that eighth note there. What if we just push that over so that it is on the eighth? And this one is lagging, right? 
super wonky. We can mute the hats and see what that sounds like. And you can also check out, you know, a combination of these two. So what if I muted this and muted that, and then I've just got <clears throat> the super late first note and a super late second note. Might sound better if it's uh, the same sound. Right, is that starting to sound familiar? That's right. It sounds like an Erica Badu groove. Check this out. Uh. You can hear those hats are just uh. late. Uh. And we've calculated it mathematically, mathematically like how that's actually done um, using quintuplets. So really interesting. Um, and I ended up uh, just recreating this track to figure out the relationship between the drums and the chords and bass and as well as that little synthy sound in the top. If you listen, there's a... And that was an interesting one. And I think the original thought with that was, let me just requantize that, was to have a straight um, quarter or straight eighth note groove on top of a quintuplet groove. Um, so you can see I've got my quintuplet um, hats up here, for, you know, like we just made in this example over here, very similar, if not exactly the same. And um, what's interesting is if we grab our, here, let me just show you my like demo sort of track. Right, so if we grab this um, kind of beeping synthy sound and pull that back so that it lands, I'm just eyeballing this, right where every second note is hitting the quintuplet swing, then suddenly you have this illusion that it's a straight beat, but it's just late, but every second note falls on a quintuplet swung note. And it's a really cool contrast between the kicks and snares, which are dead on. And it just makes everything sound like it's late or early, or you don't know, you just dance. <laughs> you know what I mean? So really, really interesting stuff. I'm happy to um, share this with you guys because I don't really see much information about how beats like this are made to be so swung and so funky. Um, and yeah, so I decided to have a go working on something myself here. So let's have a little listen and thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace. about you know quint quintuplet swing or <clears throat> how to create those wonky you know neo soul kind of slow jam grooves then I'd love to hear about it just uh, put a put a link in the description or something I'd love to learn more about this kind of stuff um, so cool thanks guys have a great day peace